The annual Singapore International Energy Week is underway, and you know what that means. Lots of industry professionals and policymakers will be gathering to talk about ways to achieve a sustainable future. That's right. The participants include the chief executive of the world's largest oil and gas firm, Aramco. And CNA's Roland Lim is live at the summit, and he is joining us for more. Roland, good morning. Morning, Julie. The aim is to triple energy renewables, double energy efficiency. That's what the world needs to do towards a net zero carbon future by 2050. Now, by 2025, a third of the world's electricity will come from renewables, with energy demand still set to grow. Now, earlier I spoke with Mr. Poa Kok Kiel. He is chief executive of the Energy Market Authority, responsible for ensuring energy security and a stable electricity market here in Singapore. Now, I asked him about this year's theme, a connected and sustainable energy world, and what the urgency is with stakeholders, energy leaders, and policymakers needing to work together. Have a listen. We need to ensure that continues to be a reliable and affordable source of energy to supply to companies and to supply to industries and to communities and households. But at the same time, we need to work urgently to decarbonize our energy systems in order to mitigate climate change. And this is a monumental task. It's something that we have to try to do within 20, 30 years in a single generation. The Energy Market Authority has so-called four switches when it comes to the energy transition. That's solar, regional power grids, low-carbon alternatives, and natural gas. Now, Mr. Poa says that Singapore plans to import 30% of its energy needs from low-carbon sources by 2035, and added that LNG will still play a central role despite renewables growing faster than ever before. But, but with big tech now deploying small, modular nuclear reactors in Singapore for its data center needs, Singapore is also studying its feasibility. We have been looking at nuclear energy for a while. Uh, about 10 years ago, the government did a feasibility study on nuclear energy. And the conclusion at the time was that the kind of very big one gigawatt size of conventional nuclear energy reactors will not be suitable for Singapore due to our space limitations. Uh, but there is a lot of interest out there right now uh, among the uh, technology de developers to look at smaller, safer, small modular reactors. 